Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a super fun eyeshadow palette review for you and we are going to be reviewing and doing two looks on the new Pat McGrath Hutopian Dream eyeshadow palette. I am so excited about this one. When I saw that it was coming out, I just instantly fell in love with this packaging first of all, but then the colors inside just really got me. I don't usually buy all of Pat's palettes, but when there is a couple here and there that really speak to me, I definitely have to have it. So I did pick up this one. I think the last one I bought was her holiday palette, the Celestial Divinity. Otherwise, I haven't really bought one since then, but I was really excited to kind of see what this one is all about. There's a couple shades in here that really caught my attention. I know Pat McGrath makes some really unique like shimmer formulas so I wanted to try this one out. This is available on Pat's website as well as Sephora. It is $125 which is what her usual big palettes go for. It's a it's a lot, I won't lie, but um, you do get really big shadow sizes, so I feel like you get a decent amount for your money, and she has some really unique shades, but I do notice that Pat does a lot of sales on her stuff, different holiday sales, different summer sales and seasons um, that can be up to 30% off, so I don't think it's necessarily something you always have to go out and buy full price unless you're truly just in love with the color scheme and want to t try it out right away. I actually did find a 15% off code. Um, I'll have it down below, but I, it does work. I don't know. I'm not logged in right now, so I don't know if it's just for first-time buyers, but if you guys do buy it on the Pat McGrath website, you can use the code HUETOPIAN15, and that brings the palette down to 106.25. So let's go ahead and look at this palette. So the packaging is stunning. She did some really cool campaign photos for this one. Um, I know this is very hit or miss with people because a lot of people were expecting it to almost be even more colorful than it is because when you see the colors it's kind of like another take on her Divine Rose palette but with some different shades and um, her packaging usually is the same black and gold on the back very expensive casing it's beautiful heavy packaging and then you open it up and then here is the colors of the Hutopian dream I'll do a little close-up for you so you guys can see everything included so stinking beautiful so yeah you can definitely see the similarities in this one with the divine rose and the divine rose 2 i do not have the two so that's another reason why i decided to pick this one up because i thought it would be more unique to my pat mcgrath collection um but i will kind of go over some comparisons at the end but yes i mostly had to have this palette for this shade here which i do have mostly on my eyes now and then this one too stunning. I'm going to do some swatches, but it does come with the 10 shades. As you can see, they're very big pan sizes. They're 0.45 ounces a piece. And yeah, I want to go ahead and get into the swatches here. So I'm just going to swatch them in front of you. Sometimes I insert clips, but I thought it would be fun to swatch together and I can kind of tell you about the different finishes in here. So the first shade in the palette is this one here. This is just a shimmer. This is called Nude Ecstasy. And this one is just super smooth. It's going to go on very metallic and very beaming. You can definitely use this as an inner corner highlight, brow bone highlight as well. It's a beautiful shade. Next we have this rosy tone which is secret Eden and this one is a matte in the palette it's super soft this is what it looks like swatched next shade is called a gleaming metallic and this one is bronze desire this is stunning I'm a sucker for bronze eyeshadow all over the lid it's one of my go-to's for neutral looks Next we have a metallic. This is Bronze Solaris. These do feel a little bit chunkier when you touch them in the pan, but they're going to pack a lot of pigment. Once you kind of blend them onto the skin, they do smooth out. Next we have the Astral Venusian Orchid, and this one is a duochrome sparkle. It's absolutely beautiful. That one's kind of a little more chunkier as well. And that's what it looks like swatched. It's so pretty. It has that very metallic glittery finish. Next up we have another matte. This is Extreme Plum Noir. Very soft. This is my favorite like outer corner shade. It's really beautiful. And there it is swatched. That one, it's not super, super deep. So it does take a little bit to kind of build it up to the effect that you want. Another metallic. This one is Cosmic Bloom. The metallics have like the softest texture. 
And there is the swatch of Cosmic Bloom. Another matte. This is like this coral color called Shockwave. It's kind of more neon. And that is what it looks like swatched. Next we have a triochrome shade, so it's going to shift three colors, and this one is called Blitz Supreme. This one's so soft and metallic again, and this one shifts from like a red to a green, almost gold. It's really beautiful. And lastly, my favorite in here, this is Astral Amethyst Moon, which is one of her duochrome sparkles, and these are a little bit more chunky again but they do blend really pretty on the skin. As you guys can see, it just looks wet. So those are the shades. That is kind of the different color story you are getting. I think it's a great color story. I find some of her color stories can be a bit, I don't know, confusing to me and sometimes like I don't know what to do, but when I saw this, I thought the colors all went together so perfectly. When I'm looking at spending a little bit more on an eyeshadow palette, I'm looking for those unique shimmers, super metallic finishes, but I'm also looking for like my matte brown crease and my matte outer corner crease, and this pretty much has it all for me. So it's another reason why I purchased. I like to review anything and everything from a drugstore to a luxury, so we kind of have a variety on the channel, but I just love makeup and love trying out different things. So that is the swatches of the Hutopian Dreams. Let's go ahead and get into the two looks I did today. All right, guys. So for for my first look with the palette, I am going to do something more neutral. I do have a photo shoot, so I haven't brushed my curls out yet. I'm just kind of leaving them there. Since I do have a photo shoot, I want to keep it neutral, but it's still going to be like a glam neutral since we got all this fun metallic sparkle in here. So let's just see what we can come up with. So I am going to take my Refer 27 crease brush here and we'll go into the mauve color in the palette. And we will place that right in the crease area. And kind of diffuse that, blend it out. Now that we kind of have that all blended, I'm gonna take a smaller brush and we'll take kind of the darker rosy brown here. And that's gonna go, of course, in the outer corner to deepen that area up. So this will be the darkest matte in the palette which I definitely see myself using these two shades quite a lot for my looks. I am gonna use the same two shades on the lower lash line, kind of going in light and then deepening up just to have a really nice blended lower lash line as well. And I usually just clean that up with some concealer, but the mattes in this palette don't really have like any fallout, which is nice. So there's really not a lot of cleaning up to do, which is nice with Pat's formula. I'm going to take a little bit of the gold. I'm going to use a dry brush just to see what it will look like. It's kind of a sparkly one, but I want to see how it picks up without wetting it. I typically do wet mine though, but everyone always like asks about the, how it looks like dry. So I do want to show you that you can build up really good sparkling pigment even with a dry brush with this palette. It's not as much because I kind of like to wet it so it sticks especially with those glittery shades but that just kind of gives you an overview. You can also use your fingers and stuff like that but let me go ahead and now wet the brush. This one does seem more of kind of like that topper, so it doesn't go on super smooth. Let me try it with my finger. Oh yeah, the finger is definitely the way to go with that one. It kind of just smooths everything out. Since it is pretty bright, this like gold, I do want to see what it looks like um, with this like pearlescent champagne color over top of it. So just dipping into that one. I feel like this one's going to be more of that smooth metallic so I don't know what it will do if I like it. Just to kind of brighten it up, I think I actually do like that. Since the gold just looks a little bit too deep for what I'm going for today. Okay, yeah, that looks good. Okay, 
so that's how the eyes came out for this first look i'm really pleased with it definitely something more wearable but still glittery and glam i think it'll be perfect for my photo shoot today but the second look i'm going to definitely play with the more colorful colors like the purples and stuff but um i do have just a tiny bit of glitter fallout along the eyes but not bad so that is look number one let me show you with the rest of my makeup on too and here is the rest of the look with my full makeup on i'll have the details down below i'll try to use the same products for look number two as well all right guys look number two this time i'm gonna start off with like this coral shade in the crease we're gonna see how that's gonna look so just placing that into the crease it's very pigmented actually beautiful blend and then I am gonna take just a tiny bit of that matte like reddish brown again in the outer corner just a tiny bit because I'm thinking I'm gonna do shimmer over top of this but I just want a little bit of a base there so I'm just blending that a little bit in the outer corner Next, I'm going to take this like shifty color and use my finger. I'm going to place this in the outer half of the eye. This one almost shifts like red to green. It almost looks like it mixed together to make almost a bronze. It's a very interesting shade. But I'm just patting that in the outer corner. I know with Pat's palettes, you kind of want to like play with the shimmers a little bit even in the outer corner since they are very shimmer heavy and not a lot of mattes. So I'm going to dip my finger into the fun purple here, this like glittery shade and I'm going to place this in most of the eye and just kind of blend it outward. So that's kind of how it looks on its own just placing with the finger. It seems like it's going to set in place but I feel like you can definitely pop it even more with a glitter glue if you want. So just for example, I'm going to place a little bit of my NYX glitter glue on top. Just like that, let that set a bit and then I'm going to go back in and layer that. And that's if you want that super metallic foiled finish. The glitter glue definitely amps it up a bit and I noticed if you really want that crazy foil you kind of have to do that with Pat's palettes. Uh, like in the celestial, I bought the celestial divinity, I think it's called, and I had to do that a lot with the colors. But as you can see from the beginning, you can definitely wear it without the glitter glue too. It just kind of adds that extra oomph. I think I'm gonna take that same poppy coral and put this on the lower lash line. And then for the inner corner, I'm going to try this shade as well. This one kind of has a pinky gold to green shift. It's really pretty. And I'm going to try and place this just in the inner corner just to brighten that up a bit. Ooh, that's gorgeous. So I'm just using a very fine detailed brush for that. I'm just kind of merging that in with the purple. And that is pretty much the look. I'm going to put the rest of my makeup on, um, at least my lashes, and fix my under eyes a little bit with my concealer, and I'll be right back. All right, and then here is look number two, mostly using that gorgeous purple in the palette. Definitely a unique one for my collection, but let's go ahead and get into my final thoughts. So for my final thoughts here, trying out the Utopian Dream Palette, I thought both looks were really stunning. Pat really does a gorgeous shimmer that a lot of brands don't really have in their line. I know a lot of indie brands kind of do that duochrome metallic and even triochrome kind of finishes, so you can find it in different indie brands for a little bit less probably, but overall I am pleased with the palette I thought it was really beautiful like I said Pat does a lot of sales and coupons I had that 15% off coupon earlier but if you're wanting to get this at a discount I think it is you know worth waiting because she does it a lot I don't know if it would be on sale right away because I think when she released Divine Rose 2 that one took a little bit longer to kind of be applied with coupons I know it wasn't for a bit this is probably my favorite Pat palette I think you definitely have to be okay with glitter and shimmer to like this if you're not really into the glittery looks, I think you'll actually prefer the Divine Rose uh, number one. This one doesn't really have a lot of glitters at all. It's very neutral. Um, just a lot of shimmery finishes. Now, you definitely 
don't have to add the glitter glue like I did. I feel like it does intensify the shade, but it also makes it a little bit more chunky. So I feel like it honestly looks a lot smoother when you just apply it with the finger or with a wet brush as she recommends to kind of get the most payoff. But yeah, I really love the color story of this one. I think if I would change anything, I do wish that this matte was a little bit darker um, just to build up a little bit more depth with the palette. But overall, it does all kind of work together. And these shades are definitely super unique in my collection her blitz astral formula I did want to compare it to the divine rose one this would be the most similar I have out of my Pat McGrath palettes just because it kind of has the same mattes I guess but overall it's really not the same this one definitely looks more similar to the divine rose two um, besides you're not really gonna get that purple and pink I did want to go ahead and swatch the mattes together so you guys could see what they look like. So this is the Divine Rose 1. Oh, I guess they are pretty different. That is the Divine Rose 1 mattes. And then, yeah, this actually, the Hutopian is actually pretty different. I have so much glitter on my hand right now. <laughs> For some reason, these mattes don't feel as creamy as the first one, but they are different. For sure, the bottom two is the Hutopian, so a little bit lighter. Um, the first one definitely has a creamier formula for some reason, and it has more pigmentation. So, that's just kind of a comparison. I don't really think the shimmers or glitters compare all that much in these pots. I think they are overall pretty different. It's a little side by side. That's kind of all I have to say about it. Honestly, it's really good. It's going to be my favorite Pat McGrath palette, I think, in my collection. It's going to be hard, though, to beat the original Divine Rose. That one's just an everyday staple, but when I want those really metallic glitters, this is probably what I'm going to go for. And yeah, it's definitely not for everyone, like I mentioned, but if this is something that interests you and you think you would get a lot of use out of it, I think it is really beautiful. And we created some really gorgeous looks today. I love that sparkle and shimmer. The purple, oh my gosh, is stunning. I can't wait to try the pinky one too all over the lid and see what that does. But I don't think you have to use those necessarily as toppers. I think you can wear them all over the lid as well. And yeah, just, you know, have fun with it. Mix and match. It's kind of fun to like play with the shimmers too. Overall, the looks I did, they were pretty mess free besides a little bit of glitter fallout. It's really easy to work with and fast, especially if you are working with the shimmers. You can just plop some on half the lid, plop your finger in the next one, and just swipe it all over for that really smooth finish. So that's what I kind of like about Pat's Palace. They're just like easy to create some really stunning looks that look like you spent a lot of time on and just some unique shades that she has in her collection. So that is going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope it was helpful. I'm curious if you guys are picking this one up or if you're going to wait for a sale or if it's like a total pass for you. I'm so curious, but thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.